In this quick JavaScript example, I want to show you how to use a nested if statement. We've probably seen before something like if, and we have two variables here, so I'll use age greater than or equal to 16. This, of course, is to determine if a person is able to drive. However, just because you're 16 does not mean that you're legally able to drive. So one thing you'll probably also need to check is to determine if they have a license. One of the nice things about an if statement is that inside the block of code that runs, if the condition is true, we can put other statements. And while we've previously looked at straight commands, we can also include other if statements. Inside of our if statement, we'll type something like if has license. Now, this is a Boolean value. And if I look up at my variable definition up above, you see I say equal to false. Anytime we test a Boolean value, we don't have to test to see if it's equal to true. This just becomes a shorthand notation. And if that value is true, the condition is true. If the value is false, then the condition is false. Inside has license, we could simply type a little command to let them know that it's valid. Likewise, we can include an else statement. Likewise, we can put an else on our outermost if statement. So here we have an if statement with an else. And we have inside of our if statement, if the first condition is true, we have an if else statement. So people often ask, well, which else goes with which if? The else always goes with the if statement when it follows that closing brace. So here we have a closing brace. This matches our opening brace for our if statement and the interior, and therefore this else statement goes with that if statement. The second else statement, it immediately follows the closing brace for our outer if statement, and that's how we know which else goes with which if. We'll save this real quick. In our variables, we have age equal to 15, so therefore it does not meet this legal qualification. So our else statement, if the age fails, tells us we have to be 16 to drive. We switch back to our text editor. I can check the age. I set equals 17 this time. Reload. It first checks, is the age qualification met? Yes. But then it checks to see if the license qualification is met. It is not. So we get the inner else statement. And now, if I go back to my text editor, I can change has license to true, save it, and now both of our conditions are met. So now it's going to specify the fact that we are legally allowed to drive.